When a child is really sick or hurt, a hospital can be a very scary place. That's why Ann Nyberg founded the Toy Closet Program at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital to make these little patients feel comfort and special. And she's back today along with co-founder Marianne Vackers from the program. Ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, and so tell me how you, you started this program about 20 years ago. 20 years ago, in 2013, uh, we started the Toy Closet Program. And since that time, and Marianne can tell you, because this is all volunteer-based, we've given away about a million toys. Wow. And because Yale New Haven Hospital has expanded, all over the state, we now have armoires that have, and the, there's a picture of it here in the front where a child goes to an armoire and just opens it up and gets to just delight and pick a toy. That's fabulous for kids that are sick and they really have something to look forward to. And without Marianne, she and I have been partners in crime for nearly 20 <laughs> years now. Uh -huh. And I, I just want you to talk about the volunteers and how this, how this works. Well, it started small. We had five. Um, toy classes and we started and now we are in what, 34 areas in all the satellites and satellite hospitals and uh, we have about 20 volunteers and we collect the toys, we sort them, we store them, we distribute them to the toy closet and to all the areas over there and uh, everybody has a little role to play, sure. an important one, not to forget all our hundreds and thousands of donors who every year come and bring toys, mm -hmm. um, fire departments, schools, churches, individuals, lots of area businesses at this time of year. Sure. They do their holiday um, parties and uh, request a toy for the toy closet at the Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. It's absolutely fabulous. Now we should mention that uh, unlike holiday drives, you're looking for donations year round. Children are sick year round. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of folks think about the holidays and um, giving, but we go out of our way. We do a lot of outreach too. Mm -hmm. So we have built playgrounds. We have done all kinds of things. And it's, it's just about children mm -hmm. and putting a smile on their face when they're going mm -hmm. through a lot of trauma. Some of our children, unfortunately, never leave a hospital. They're oncology patients, but they know that there is something for a moment to keep them occupied and their parents know that too and I, I just I can't say enough about the volunteers and Marianne who oversees this at the hospital and so many others from the hospital auxiliary that make this program work on almost a statewide level now <laughs> and there are there are stories that come back to us about parents who maybe have even lost a child who give back to the toy closet program because they want to see it work. It's very simple, but it's about toys and it's about kids. Something that makes them happy. And Absolutely. Um, for birthdays too, right? We d yeah. We've done it all. <laughs> yeah, and what is so heartwarming, what we have seen over the last couple of years, that in a lot of families um, discuss with their children the fact that why don't we do something for your birthday for an other child? You have so many things. So we see children who have a birthday party and invite their friends to come mm -hmm. and celebrate their birthday and bring a toy for the Toy Closet program. Um, kids have done that as a team for their bar mitzvahs. Sure. And that's absolutely fabulous to see even very young children come and share. Yeah. That's really very powerful. And toys f of all, for all ages. For all ages, from almost zero until uh -huh. about 18. And we do take monetary donations, and then Marianne and her team and others go shopping for toys. <laughs> That's fun. And you go shop for toys. There are places at yeah. Yale New Haven Hospital in, um, in a basement area, and I'm, I'm telling <laughs> you, it looks a, like a Toys R Us. <laughs> no, it no looks kidding. like a huge toy store. And they... They um, disseminate this information, they give out the toys, and it's always there for child life in hospitals if they need something to give to a child to keep mm -hmm. them preoccupied. This started, you know, as a brainchild of when I was a reporter in Oklahoma and I saw a child with cancer go to a toy closet and I, and I thought if I could ever replicate that and take mm -hmm. it somewhere. So I land in New Haven, they're building the children's toy, the um, hospital, and I gave them this uh -huh. idea and it just has blossomed. Mm -hmm. The poorest of schools have given us pennies. Sure. Firefighters have then sorted those pennies and Marianne and I have seen that. And then we go buy toys and it, I, it gives me <laughs> goosebumps. That's great. Well, it is the season for giving. How can people help? 
Marianne? Well, um, if even one toy or a toy drive with your whole family sure. or with your whole business, schools, uh, you call 203 688 uh, 5717, that's the office of the Yellow Haven Hospital Auxiliary, uh, where the Toy Closet Program is uh, run. And um, we can help you. Any questions you want answers, we can give you brochures, which uh, give you the basic information about the program, the mission, uh, some suggestions for toys. Sure. And actually, one of the things that we really would like to uh, work on um, we need a lot of little things right now. Um, there are so many outpatient areas uh, where about oh, we see about 75,000 children. Right. Between uh, the children's emergency, it's just absolutely inc incredible. And um, a little bit of Play-Doh, a uh, small uh, matchbox, okay, cars, very good. playing cards, uh, we'll add makeup it to the for list. the girls. Oh, that's even, that's even better. All right, ladies, thanks for, so much for being here. Of course, we'll have the information about the toy closet on WTNH.com. Thanks for having us Thank on, and congratulations on your engagement. Oh, thanks, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, I'll head to the kitchen with Chef Paul from Octagon. He shares a recipe for empanadas when style returns. Don't go anywhere.